Layla says, is it permissible to celebrate Shabi Barat now that 15th of Sha'ban is coming? Please throw some light on this. It is an innovation, a bid'ah. Sheikh, I'm going to change the channel. Everything you're asked about, it's a bid'ah, bid'ah. Everything we ask you about is an innovation. What is this? Don't you have some uh, leniency? Everything is bid'ah. Your iPad is a bid'ah. Wearing glasses is a bid'ah. Okay, I'm going to cool down. I'm not going to get angry with you, my friend. You have to understand that bid'ah is related to religion. So when I, someone asks me, what's the ruling on birthdays? I wouldn't say it's a bid'ah because I'm not getting closer to Allah. It's not a form of worship. I would say it's haram because it's an imitation of the disbeliever's customs. But wearing a watch, using an iPad, drinking in a coffee mug, wearing glasses, driving a car, flying in an airplane, these are not a religious practices of other religions. And it is not something innovated to get closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. And it's not part of their customs. So don't mix apples with oranges. When we come to the issue of celebrating the 15th of Sha'ban. Okay, what is your intention of celebrating? He says, to get closer to Allah. I do Salatu at tasabih I do a lot of dhikr, I do night prayer, I do this, I do that. Okay, hold your horses. Did the Prophet ever did such a thing? Did the Prophet ever do such a thing? And says, no, we don't have any authentic reports. Had the companions done any similar things? Never. So are you innovating or not? Yeah, yeah, but this is a good bid'ah, subhanAllah. Something the Prophet did not do, alayhi And the companions, may Allah be pleased with them, them, did not do. And Allah told us at the time of the Prophet, اليوم أكملت لكم ديدنكم Today, I've completed your religion and perfected it. So, you come and say, yeah, the Prophet didn't do it, but it's a good bid'ah. Give me a break. This is definitely unacceptable, none whatsoever. So celebrating Shabi Barat or Laylatul Mi'raj on the 27th of Rajab, which was a couple of weeks ago, all of these are innovations. Not because I don't want you to celebrate. Who cares, Akhi? Celebrate if you wish whatever you want. I am not going to lose anything from my pocket. But you're asking me about ruling according to the Quran and the Sunnah, and I'm presenting it to you. Do you think that I don't want you to pray? If you say, Sheikh, I'd like to pray three hours night prayer. I would say, mm, bid'ah. No, go ahead. Pray four. Pray five. No problem. If you say, I'd like to recite the Quran like three hours a day. Be my guest. We encourage people to give uh, uh, lots in charity, to do dhikr, to recite the Quran, to pray voluntary, to fast voluntary days. But when it comes to issues that take See you up, take you out of the straight path, he will say bid'ah. So know where we're coming from. Put yourselves in our shoes. The size might be, differ, but understand that we do not want to stop people from doing good. We want them to do the good things according to the sunnah, not according to their whims and desires and to what say, Satan is telling them to do.